Hello, my name is Rafi Petrosian, and today I'm going to venture into the northern part of Armenia, to the Lori province, more specifically to the Debed Canyon area, an area well known not only for its natural beauty, but also for its cultural and historic significance. With museums, churches, and ancient monasteries, as well as snow-peaked mountains, dense forests, and rivered canyons. The only question is knowing where to start. So I'm gonna make my way over to the Co-op Visitor Center, speak with one of the locals there, and get better acquainted with the area. So I just visited the Co-op Smart Visitor Center and uh, I came away with some treats. I've got a map here that says uh, all the interesting sites within the region, both in English and in Armenian. It's got the hotels, places to eat, and even the touristic sites. And the best part of it all, I walked away with the coffee. Well, it's been a very long day. It's a long journey from Yerevan here to the Debed Valley. Uh, but I've reached a nice resting place. It's a very quaint guest house uh, called Chamich, or Raisin in English. And uh, now I've gotten to take a little break and kind of familiarize myself with the area. Down at the visitor center, they told me about a website called visitdebedcanyon.com. And there, there's a whole list of different touristic places to go to. Uh, there's museums, uh, monasteries, churches, uh, an old chapel. And so now using the map, I could see that I'm very close to the village of Deser. So I'm gonna go over there tomorrow and visit the Hovanes Tumanyan House Museum. He's a very famous, well-renowned Armenian writer and poet. So that should be pretty interesting. Then I would love to get a hike in because the weather outside is just beautiful. It's a cold, crisp uh, winter with beautiful sunshine. So luck is on my side. Uh, I think it should be a fun day and uh, I'm just gonna play it as it goes, see what else comes up. It's a very cold morning today in Debet village. There's frost on the ground, and off in the distance, I could see the low hung clouds covering the peaks of the mountains. But there's this beautiful mystical quality to it all too. I could see the warm smoke coming up from the chimneys, and I could just imagine everyone huddled around their warm campfires. I've got a big Armenian, traditional Armenian breakfast laid out in front of me. And I'm told that later, I'm gonna learn how to make gata a really sweet pastry that's only found in this part of the world. It was an easy process, uh, just a few ingredients, water, salt, baking soda, uh, flour of course, and oil and butter, and lots of sugar. So first off, we floured the table and we brought the, we mixed the flour with the water, stirred that up until it became a nice, uh, I guess, a dough. Then we added, the baking soda, and that was it. Or maybe we added butter as well. Mix that up really good until it turns into a nice dough, and then we cut them up into three different balls. We made three gata. Let them rest for a while, and while we did that, we made the insides, the really sweet, rich part, which is just butter and sugar. Mix that up really good, and then we took our uh, relaxed dough, flattened it out into these large circular pies, basically. And in the center, we put in the, the rich part, the, the butter and the sugar. Flattened that out, and then we took the edges of the round dough, and we closed it all, flattened it down, and put it in the oven. 20 minutes later, we have this beautiful golden rich gata. First one.
I'm here in the village of Dessert at the Hovanes Tumanyan House Museum, and I'm going to have the privilege of having a guided tour. Um, so let's go check it out. The Hovanes Tumanyan House Museum was extremely interesting and very comprehensive. And the best part was, is that it wasn't just a collection of all his work, his poetry and writings, pictures of his lifestyle, and actually art that was inspired by him and the work that he did, but it was a great snapshot of what life was like, at the, extremely comprehensive. So I parted ways with my tour guide and she's going down to the monastery because I wanted to walk through the forest here. The trails are marked in the old European style so I can find my own way and it is beautiful. The rocks, the trees. It's winter now so there's not much in terms of vegetation. The leaves are all, have all fallen but the structure, the bones of the trail are really interesting because I'm walking on the edge of a cliff going down the canyon, rocks to my left and right, tree branches up ahead, and it's like I'm being funneled through, tunneled all the way down the mountain until I reach the monastery. I'm always impressed whenever I see these kind of trails, especially when they go down to a place of worship or gathering. I only imagine what life was like back then when they started building those kind of monasteries, those churches and chapels. Why did they build them in such unaccessible places? I don't know. Maybe I'll find out today. That monastery was pretty amazing. I've been to a few monasteries before in Armenia, but I don't think I've seen one quite like that before. It was in ruins, just totally, completely destroyed. You could just see the foundation of some of the walls, but all around were the, just the remnants of detailed pieces of rock where I can imagine what it was like in its, in its you know, finished state. I love how nature took over the place too. There was moss and ferns growing out of every corner. It was really quite something. But it's getting pretty cold now. And I've got a date with the Co-op Smart Center. Uh, I'm going to meet someone there who's gonna tell me about the facility. And tonight I'll be staying at the Concept Hotel by Co-op. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be something posh. So I finally made it to the Co-op Smart Center and I'm lucky enough to be able to get a personal tour of the facility and the premises around. But before I do, I wanted to take this opportunity to fly the drone because it's just beautiful out here. So Co-op was uh, founded back in 2003 in the village of Karagert, that's in the province of Armavir. So it's two and a half years approximately that this center exists. And uh, we are uh, serving the whole province of Lori, 26 villages plus Vanazor, which is the province uh, capital. Mm -hmm. So actually 27 different communities. So right now, we have approximately 1,300 school children, aged 3 to 18 years old, wow. to come here to learn 18 different activities. Languages, dancing, yoga, uh, finance, management, illustration, drawing, yoga classes. So there's no, I, I, when I heard Smart Center, I assumed yeah. it would only be about computers, but it sounds like it, it's just a huge variety of different classes they're learning. Yes, yes it's 18 different classes.
It has been a long day, but it's been great. I toured the museum, went for a great hike, even saw a vulture and wandered through the monastery. Took a tour of the co-op facilities and now I'm in the Concept Hotel and I've got to be honest with you, I think I'm in the very best room, far off in the corner with a beautiful view ahead of me. But I'll have to share it with you tomorrow. The way the lighting is and how dark it is outside, only I can enjoy it. So you'll have to wait till then. Until then, I'm gonna have a good night's sleep.